Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we're going to be doing some upgrades on these wine coolers. Thank you to everyone tuning into Jumperman Tech. Today we're working at a bar. We have two wine coolers along this wall. Over here we have this one panel. This is for an air-cooled system and we have a second panel here. We're gonna be doing a few upgrades. One of the upgrades is that we're gonna be installing these LED lights in both refrigerators. If you look inside here, there's absolutely no light, and when they have a party here, you can't see anything. So a little bit of light will totally be helpful. Look at these covers. Look how rusted these metal covers are. That's definitely gotta go. I got nice clear plastic covers. That's gonna look beautiful with that upgrade as well. The electrical here, it's really a mess. So I'm gonna be upgrading that. If you look here, look at all these wire nuts, extension cords on extension cords. It's quite a mess. I actually took this off, I just left it for reference. We had this plug, this time plug was here and had they had one for the identical for that unit. It's pretty interesting, they had a, an extension cord coming in here and then we have three power wires and a ground and a receptacle like all in one. This thing was smoking. I wonder if I have a video of it. If I do, I'm gonna show you guys. So we just want everything in safe in a safe condition. Let's see, I can take this off. If you look in this this one, I installed the box, also with a new receptacle here, where things are a lot safer. This extension cord comes with the unit, gets plugged into the wall. This is a package unit, but the wires coming out of the box go into here, and then safely I use this cable to go into this receptacle. When the thermostat energizes, it energizes this receptacle, and this plug came with the unit as well, which energizes the condensing unit. It also makes it easy so we can unplug this and pull this condensing unit out when it's time to do repairs or maintenance. We definitely need something like that here. This is honestly a bit crazy. We have a breaker panel here. I know this one turns off the left wine cooler. This one says bar number two, right wine cooler. Let's shut these down and get this started. All right, that box is off and this one is off too. I actually changed the covers on the other one when I changed the fan motor. See how nasty and rusted those are? changed it to where it looks like this we also cleaned it up man it looks brand new so we're gonna do the same for the other let's make some space here so we can see what everything and how everything is going we're gonna have to take off a bunch of covers condensate pan and all that good stuff all right what is going on here there's a lot to rewire all this get some cable cutters and see what's going on <laughs> the other one i was doing was really tricky i had to figure out how this was working through that control i never seen that before but through there i can see we have an extension cord and it feeds power oh that look at that that's loose right there that's about to come right off Anyways, power comes and feeds this black and white wire. So that's 120 going to the box. Then we have this red wire. Goes to black here. And then a white wire to here, which feeds our compressor and condenser fan motor. This is a huge mess. We're gonna have, we're gonna need in all this up. Okay, 
I see what to do. I mean, when even when tape gets put on like this, freaking just like triggers my OCD. I need this all neat and clean. So, start cutting some of this stuff out. This is just ridiculous. It's really bad. We're gonna do everything nice and neat. This this is just yeah. That's that. That's that. We do need a plug, and this is pretty heavy duty. Mm. Could probably use that, but like let's at least shorten this up a bit and make it neat. Let's just get rid of all this and just do the step at one step at a time. All right, guys, I'm kneading this up and we're gonna reuse this plug, also tighten this up. Everything was just freaking loose. But anyways, that's definitely better there, a bit neater. I'm gonna get rid of all this and do it how they intended it with a receptacle. I don't like the idea of this like little extension cord, so. I can see the red wire here. There's a black, red, and white. Black and white is just power for the fans inside. And then the red wire comes out as the trigger wire. That's what I call it. That's what turns on the condensing unit, comes through, comes back white with neutral. So let's get rid of this. I understand what's going on here now. I can get rid of that. And then one neutral. So this can go. Mm. And then the power feeding this unit is this is this right here. So we gotta use this. Okay. All right, use this box. Make my knockouts. Start setting this up using these connectors here. So power is gonna come into this box. Those wires are gonna come in here, and from there we're gonna be able to distribute power to a receptacle. Got a new receptacle there. Everything is safe, and we're gonna cover all these connections up. Everything looks good much better boy does that look better that's a beautiful thing right there look how much stuff we got rid of here what a mess move the bottles out the way let's drop down this blower section got two screws on this edge and two on that one over here with this cover we have four screws holding up these grills two of them hold the motor bracket and at the same time, it holds the fan guard. I hate that idea. We're gonna get rid of that style. We're gonna keep the two screws for the motor mount, but we're gonna use, we're gonna put in different screws to hold the cover separately. The sensor is always supposed to be in the return air. I also mentioned this to the engineer for this building and they're gonna go with an upgrade and I'm gonna upgrade them with a digital thermostat and relocating the sensor and the physical location of this thermostat. I'm gonna put it on the wall somewhere. Uh, as of right now, let's just get this out of the way. I can see the electrical is gonna come from that direction. So we're gonna tap into the electrical from that side with light. Put that up here just to balance this out so we don't pull on those wires too much. The white is neutral. Got three wires. Remember how we how it's going over there? This one, I guess, goes nowhere. Red to feed the compressor. Black and white is our power. Black is your 120 volt hotline, and white is your neutral. So let's see. Neutral. Is this white wire coming through and it's right here. It's extremely difficult to drill through aluminum for some reason, so 
you're gonna wanna drill a pilot hole and then get your screw in there because it is an absolute nightmare. believe it's excuse me not a loom not aluminum stainless steel oh man there's a hole already there oh that's my lucky day it literally lines up perfectly that is a beautiful day nice all right i got the cable here i need to wire this we do have wires going through here so worst comes to worst i'm gonna make a hole in here like just cut it with like 10 cutters or something but i'm gonna try to drill a hole into here so we can make our connection and that would be the ideal thing let's see i got this step bit let's see how that works out That's awesome and it cut through like butter i'm gonna put one of these little connectors in and that will hold our wires in oh man that's so nice all right this is set up in a really nice way so i got that connector going in like that so for the future if you ever want to change this you don't even got to go in there make any hard connections you just screw this off and unplug it Oh man, that is nice. All right. Look at that, you can barely see the wires. What I did is I put some little holders up here. Nylon cable clamp. And then it goes into there. And I tapped in neutral to neutral and hot to hot. But that's really awesome. And you wouldn't actually see the light at all once you're standing. Here we got to get rid of these covers. This one right here is actually holding the motor. So let's do this carefully. We're going to put those back and then we're just going to use the screws on the side for the new covers. Let's move this out the way. Get the motor screws back on come on a little bit of maintenance won't hurt either take a little pride in your work guys it can go a long way for you Okay, everything is nice and clean. Let's just line this up somewhere where it's gonna be okay. Water's not gonna be an issue in this sense. Okay, I'm gonna make some pilot holes. The new screws. And put the new screws in. And there we go looks so much better this one really sticks out because i can see this fan motor change the shaft is a little bit long we might need to make a hole in here for that to work but that's fine as well i have to make a hole for the next one Use a step bit again stuff in the middle Oh, the whole thing fell out <laughs> but we made a hole what for a more cleaner hole i'm aligning it with this that looks much nicer and we're in that looks so much better 
All right, I'm also getting rid of all those old rusty screws that were here. We go with everything nice and shiny. Okay. All right. This looks so much better. Just turn on the brake with the condensing unit started. So that's good. Turn off this light. Let's see what we got to go in the middle. Ooh. Wow. That is real bright in here. That's amazing. That is amazing. Now you can see how rusty those shelves are. How dirty this box is. It's about time that they clean this, but this is phenomenal. Look at this motor. That one's running good. That one's running good. That is a phenomenal light. You can see it's encased in this enclosure. It's waterproof, it's easy to change. Comes with the brackets. This was actually made for refrigerators. You can see it says LED refrigerator light. And there's the model ZY-22W1500 BINS. This is a phenomenal light. We're gonna do the same for this one. Wow, 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 what an upgrade. That is awesome. See, like that. And this one, can't see a thing. Wow. It actually started, but it is making a little bit of noise. <laughs> Interesting. Anyways, this was a beautiful, beautiful job. Man, that bar is serious. It's made for refrigerators. The only thing left is we're gonna have to get rid of this thing. I'm thinking to put like a digital on the side, maybe like right there, and run another VX into here. Actually, I might even put it through there because we have the 120 there. Let's get rid of this noise. This thermostat will do that next shot. But we're gonna wrap this one up here. They could actually use some new, <laughs> new shelving as well. But if anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. I'll catch you all next time.